this weapon is your life. Hello there, my name is Shadron. Welcome to the channel, welcome to Stars to the Night, check out the Galactic Legacy. And welcome to the next episode of my Tyrion map series. In this series, I go through maps from both the custom game menu as well as JK Hub, looking for things that make the map special. This game's been up for 20 years, and a lot of maps in 20 years. Most of these maps have hidden things like clan photos and memes and jokes and pictures that I guarantee the author would not ever expect to have seen in 2024. And that is what's so fun about it, is she's bringing back the memories that have been forgotten. The clans that were there and they aren't anymore. Walking through history. So with that in mind, we're going to go to a map called Alcos 3 Spaceport. Small map, but don't underestimate it. It's very, very pretty. And it's pretty. In this episode and here on out, I will add in things that I have learned from editing software to make things look better. To make the light shine more and to make the more dark colors more vibrant. So let's ship back, grab your water, and enjoy. Alright, so we took the HUD off here so we can look around easier. I said we go HUD off. Let's go ahead and get the water a little bit here, shall we? That maybe 10 minutes here, 5 10 minutes, look around a bit, see what we can find. And yeah, get us a couple, get a couple fights and be done. Pretty easy. So, first thing is a interesting ship design here. Now, what is this? I wonder. I have no idea what this would be actually be. I know Legends, but there's a lot of ships in Legends and stuff that's out of Legends. So this may not be one from the actual uh, series itself. Could be something from some other series. Just imported over. So, can we go in here? I think we can, yeah? Yup. Alright, so let's go ahead and. Can I not get stuck? Nope. End the floor. Goodness. Um, let me, let me dab on the floor, man. This is actually really frustrating because I can't really get my location correctly here. Come on. Come on. Okay. So through here we have a, whoa, very small room. This is what? Maybe two steps wide? Yeah. It's two steps wide. Like, why is he step wide? Goodness gracious, that's tiny. That's what she said. On right, here we have the um, computer screen. One of these reminds me of the Death Star. That um, one, two, th that third one for some reason. I don't know why it kind of looks like something. I know it's ship diagnostics, but I just, I don't know. The same thing you see the Death Star. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out here and I can't. Let's go ahead and get through this door over here, I think. Yep, yep. Oh, ho, 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 whoa. Do that again. That is so cool. From the snowy cold to the bam, bright and beautiful and organized and oh, goodness. Yes, sir. This looks awesome. Let's go to the first. Oh, hey, hey, another ship. This guy looks hmm interesting and a bad design it's gonna go up here fingers yeah actually never mind i'm gonna design i don't like how it's like one wing never like that never like that very much like the one that i still can add communities in the clone wars that i'm not a big big fan of it as it kind of like flips its one wing i don't know it looks odd to me i'm kind of a dual wing kind of person it's not easy to create a map by any means. So many things can go wrong. So many little bugs can pop up. So many shadows and so many visual little glitch, glitches out. And, you know, some, you know, just whatever random thing can just be really randomly wrong. Like, you never know what angle. You can stand on one angle and have a shadow glitch. It's very easy to have that go wrong. But this is perfect. Truly perfect. It's not a single glitch anywhere. An alien map because that's one on the last map. Oh, so out here is more frozen goodness. Anything over here? Nope, I don't think so. This is not a door. Goodness, that's too bad. Now there's this. Oh man. Fortunately, this appears to be a very small map, but we have this to look at first. 
Okay. This is the main part of this map, as you can tell. So, as always, I'm going to try to translate this. This is... I have no idea what this might be. This would be probably an R2 selling. Like, it's going to sell like an R2 unit or an R variation unit. You have R2 right there. So, just maybe hard to translate because this is very, very blurry. Uh, actually, I won't be able to get this here, but I'm going to get the rest of it. This either is going to be a no blasts allowed or a sewing blasts. Okay. Anything over here? Nope. We have the back behind the bar. All right. Very cool. Nice view right there. Very, very cool. Over here we have these epic looking tables. Ooh. These are unique. You don't see these in other um, levels. Most of the levels share similar sprites and like designs, right? Like similar, you know, like this right here, you see in the map, these bars, these alcohols and the um, others over here, you see, you kind of see around the places, but these look very unique to this level. Very, very cool. Anyway, it's a very short video, but I think that might be it. There's nowhere else to go, unfortunately. We can go up, I think, but that's about it. Up here is nothing. It's just a dead end, it looks like, right? Yep, that's a dead end, and then that's a dead end. So, I guess, quick video. Nice and easy. I hope you enjoyed a little bit. It's a very cool video, very cool map of she's me. Not as big as the other ones, granted, but still epic in its own little way. I can't blame the guy who made it. I mean, after the whole time, all of these big maps, the detailed maps, one quick little map, it's um, pretty understandable. Thank you for watching this video. Your view is the world to me. I am constantly looking for ways to make the channel better. So if you have any suggestions, any input at all, to make things more enjoyable for you, let me know in the comment section. I really appreciate it.